Hey, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I want to discuss three things that I believe everybody with fibromyalgia should know. Um, these are three things that have really helped me um, in my journey. Now, when, when I do say fibromyalgia, um, I believe that's kind of a throwaway diagnosis, you know, in the same way that if you see something in the air that you don't know what it is, you might call it a UFO. Um, an unidentified flying object, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what it is. You know, it's it could be an airplane that you're just not familiar with. So I believe fibromyalgia is similar. I believe fibromyalgia is, in often oftentimes, is caused by something else where people have similar symptoms of pain, anxiety, you know, different things that we have with fibromyalgia, yet there's different reasons that we have those symptoms. Um, and in my case, my symptoms came from the use of an antibiotic. Um, which when I was using that antibiotic, it started to cause pain, anxiety, all the different kind of things, which ended up having my doctors label me as, you know, fibromyalgia. They looked at rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, different things for me. Um, MS, thinking that I might have those because of what this antibiotic did to my body. Um, more on that in a minute, because that's one of the three things that I think everybody should know with fibromyalgia. But um, my story is in 2005, I took this antibiotic and it ruined my life. I was bedridden for two years. Um, and slowly recovered doing different things that, that I'm going to share with you in this video. But um, number one, the one thing that I really want you guys to know um, is that I believe these antibiotics can damage people. And I think if you look back um, in your history, a lot of you, like I, I've noticed if I, if I bring up fibromyalgia with somebody and I start to discuss these antibiotics, these two antibiotics, they will say, wow, I did take those in the past, and I remember starting to have pain around that time. So um, it's the same story for myself. So these, these two drugs are called Levaquin and Cipro. That's their brand name. Their generic name, I believe, is Leva, Levafloxin, and Ciprofloxin, I believe, is, is, um, is their generic names. But these are two antibiotics that are given for things like sinus infections or... Um, urinary tract infections that can damage you. Now, I'm not saying not to take them or anything like that. Just do your research on them. But I believe um, you might be able to trace back in your past and see that you did use one of these, and that's when your pain started. So if so, um, I would recommend you do as I do and and tell your doctor that you are allergic to that so that that will be on your uh, medical chart so that they won't give it to you again because um, anytime I have them, they make me extremely sick. I relapse back to bedridden um, if I were to have them again. So um, what also ties in with that is is fluoride. Now, um, I don't know that this applies to everybody with fibromyalgia, but in my case, if I have um, an amount of fluoride, like a glass of tap water, um, I, my pain will be through the roof, my anxiety, every all my symptoms come back really hard. So um, what I've noticed is, um, well, I, I used to drink... Um, I used to drink tap water all day, and I used to um, drink a lot of soda, which contains tap water. So um, one day when I was trying to see if I had a, a reaction to fluoride, I just I went straight to distilled water. I didn't drink my soda. Um, I stayed away from fluoride and did not drink tap water, and my symptoms by the end of the day were, were improved dramatically. So um, I have a sensitivity to fluoride. I know it now. When I avoid fluoride... Um, if I have a glass of fluoride, however, you know, it gets into my system, I'll know immediately. Within 10 minutes, I will, I will not feel well. Um, so one thing you might want to try to do is to abstain from fluoride for a day from your toothpaste that has fluoride in it. There's different kinds of toothpaste you can get, Tom's of Maine, that don't have fluoride in it. Avoid fluoride in your toothpaste. Avoid fluoride in your tap water. Drink distilled water or reverse osmosis water. See how you feel at the end of the day. Um, don't have sodas. Don't have extra drinks. Just stay on the water. And at the end of the day, if you feel better avoiding fluoride, then you know you've, you've learned something that, that will be very helpful to you. The reason I bring that up with those antibiotics is because both of those antibiotics, Levaquin and Cipro, do have a lot of fluoride in them. Um, and that's when my problem started. So um, again, I notice anytime I have fluoride, I start to not feel well. So that's something I think that everybody with um, fibromyalgia want, might want to see for themselves if fluoride um, aggravates symptoms, and that way they can avoid it. Now, moving on from that, those that's the first thing I want you to know. The second thing I want you to know is um, about a supplement that I've used, and it's, it's a mineral. Um, I believe a lot of people with fibromyalgia are depleted of, of magnesium, and I believe that um, 
a lot of our symptoms that we have, anxiety, pain, and stuff, are all symptoms of magnesium deficiency. So what I learned, and this was not long ago, I, I was damaged in 2005, um, and then in, I guess, 2016, I discovered magnesium. Um, game changer. But what I did was I started taking high-dose magnesium. Um, now, I'm not recommending that you do this. This is your decision, your life. Um, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical experience. I just, I know it's worked for me, but please do your own research on this um, and make your own decisions. Talk with your doctor, whatever you need to do, but um, don't take my word for it. But basically, here's, here's what I did to feel better. Um, I started out with magnesium glycinate. Um, this is Cal brand. Basically, I started taking 600 milligrams of this a day. Um, spread out. I would take 200 in the morning, 200 in the afternoon, 200 in the evening. Um, that was amazing. Um, before that, I was taking magnesium oxide, like 400 milligrams. It did absolutely nothing for my, for my fibromyalgia. But once I switched over to this kind, magnesium glycinate, which is much more absorbable, started to improve um, immediately. Um, within a day, I believe I was, I was feeling a lot better. Second part of this magnesium uh, therapy that I do is this it's magnesium oil my gosh this stuff is amazing i i had a lot of pain in my calves a lot of pain in my hips i will spray it on those areas and and let it absorb in and the pain will go away if you have pain in i know with fibromyalgia we have pain throughout our body but if you have an area that's really hurting you and you put some of this stuff on you might see that it really just takes the pain away it's 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 amazing um because it goes right into the source it's absorbed right through the skin so what I do is I take 600 milligrams of the magnesium glycinate throughout the day. That's part of my magnesium I get. I also take this in the morning. I spray it all down my legs. It's six sprays equals 100 milligrams, about. So I do a ton of sprays down both of my legs um, in the morning, let it absorb for 30 minutes, and then take my shower to wash it off. It can burn a little bit on your legs. It can sting, a little tingling. It's also sticky, so I don't leave it on throughout the day generally. But... Um, when I use that, I put on about 700 milligrams um, through my skin. So what happens is I'm getting about 1,300 milligrams of magnesium throughout the day. I've also lowered my calcium intake. That's been helpful as well. Calcium um, hardens like muscles and, and joints and stuff, whereas um, magnesium softens it. And it's more of a lubricant type, you know, softens, softens the, the tissue. So um, when you're feeling stiff and rigid, magnesium like it's a godsend. I, I I'm telling you, um, and high doses of it. I use, like I said, 1300 milligrams a day of magnesium to help me. Um, and it's, it's been just amazing. Um, when I use magnesium oxide, I, I notice no changes, but this stuff, wow. Like I'm able to walk a lot more. I have a lot more energy. I have a lot more, um, pain relief. My pain at times now is non-existent. There's days where I have no pain. And that was, you know, I've lived with this, like I said, since 2005, and it was a constant companion um, until recently when I discovered magnesium. I have days where I'm just chilling and I'm not in pain, and it's, it's a good feeling. It feels amazing. Um, the next supplement that I want to tell you about, it's a new one I just discovered, like, maybe about four days ago um, while researching for some other symptoms I was having. Um, but it's called MSM, and I believe it's basically organic sulfur. Um, from what I have read, and I'm, you know, I'm not an expert on this, but just, and I know people can say things on the internet, but I heard that we don't get enough in our diet. Um, it's been taken out because of pesticides and this and that uh, interact with it and cause problems to where we aren't getting enough sulfur. Um, so this organic sulfur is supposed to help with a lot of different processes. Um, I have noticed since taking it, I have a lot more energy, which for people with um, fibromyalgia, that's huge. Like we, we generally don't have a uh, a good amount of energy. This stuff's helped me a lot with energy. It's helped with my anxiety and it's also helped with my joint pain. Um, again, it's MSM. I'll put it down in the description so you can uh, look it up along with the other things I've mentioned here. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. Not a great taste, but um, it has been really helpful. I had a lot of anxiety um, prior to taking it and uh, kind of like a jaw clenching that would happen throughout the day. Very uncomfortable, cause headaches, gone. Um, after four days of use, plus my skin is feeling so soft lately. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to, uh, continue taking that, but I wanted to bring that up just because I think that's helpful too. Um, if you're like me, 
having fibromyalgia, you've tried a lot of different supplements, but you've also found a lot of different supplements are useless to you. Um, what I'm trying to share with you is through my, you know, hundreds of supplements I've probably tried. These are the tried and true ones. These are the ones that, that have been, been a, a savior for me. Um, finally, as kind of a last resort, I guess, um, I want to talk about um, Kratom. Kratom is a an herb that you can take. Now, it's an, it's an addictive herb. I, I want to be upfront about that. Um, I've, I've made some videos on here of um, my withdrawal from it. Now, you know, some people for fibromyalgia might take uh, Vicodin or Norco, um, some different opiates. I used to take Oxycontin, um, and I was not living life on that stuff. I was, I was able to move around. I had, I was free of pain, but man, I was foggy and man, I, I, I just had a bad addiction to it. I, you know, it, it wasn't a good ride. Um, it didn't work well with me and, and my life. Um, so I stopped and I just, I decided to live in pain. But once I discovered this Kratom, it is similar to those only it's natural and, um, it works like a lot better. This is, you know, the Kratom, I just, I take a little, uh, I take a spoonful about three times a day, um, just a teaspoon and it helps immensely with the pain and immensely with, um, my anxiety as well. So what I try to do is I try not to take it every day. It's one of those things where I will take a few days off just to, um, you know, it's more of something that I use on days that I know I'm going to be doing some activity, heavy activity. I'll use that and I'll be golden. Um, you know, it gets me through those times. But as far as using it every day for your pain, that's where you're going to run into problems. I, I did that for nine months. I have videos on here talking about my withdrawal. Um, it was not fun. It wasn't as, as hardcore as coming off of opiates, you know, like Oxycontin or something. But it was it was uh, it was not fun. So I wouldn't recommend anybody using too much of that. But um, it can be helpful. Now, I know that I've I've gone over um I've gone over three things, I think, here, but these are all things that, that have helped me so much. And one thing I can tell you is the pain that you have from fibromyalgia, I, I understand it. And I, I understand how difficult it can be to live with that. I understand it can change you as a person because of, of what you're dealing with. And I'm, I'm hoping that these things that I've shared with you can give you your life back, can help you to regain your health and your happiness um, I have been able to, I've been able to, using these supplements, these have given me back my life. Um, you know, I'm able to get out of bed, I'm able to do things now, whereas before I was not, I was, I was suffering. Um, and if you're suffering now, like, I ask that you please try these things. Try to, you know, see if, if Leviquin or Cipro have been in your, in your past history. Um, see if you might have a problem with fluoride and if you abstain from it, if it'll help your symptoms see if if this magnesium um can work for you as well as the msm and as the last resort that kratom um for hard days where you might need to do something but you know i'm i'm still i i'm never i might never be 100 percent, but i'm i'm just telling you i these things have helped me so much that i have to share them with you and my hope is that it, that it will help somebody maybe you um <laughs> but so please, like anybody that has comments um, of things that might help your fibromyalgia, your pain, please put them below so that anybody that's watching this video um, has hope. I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to do is give people that are in chronic pain some hope. Hope that you can get better. I, I, I am better. I, I don't know that I would go work, um, work a job today, like a 40-hour week like I used to, but I can tell you that I'm not in pain right now. Um, I can tell you that I, I, I feel happy. Um, and that's a big deal for somebody with fibromyalgia and chronic pain. And I have more good days now than I do bad days. So, um, I really hope this helps somebody. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, please put them below. Um, I try to answer everybody. Um, but yeah, please try that stuff out. I hope it helps. Um, and thank you so much for watching.